One of the things I'd like to share with you today is from one of my programs called Mastering and Sustaining Prosperity. And one of the things that I found in my work with lots and lots of women is that they don't really have a lot of clarity around their numbers. They don't have a lot of clarity around how much they make, um, how much they spend, um, and there's a real cost to that. And there's a real cost to some of the ways that we um, sabotage ourselves in our relationship with money. We are vague about it. We um, procrastinate paying bills. We have this real kind of scarcity relationship with money. And one of the things that I like to impress upon you is that actually the more clarity that you have, the more you know about what's going on, the more that you um, have clarity around the spending plan, that is the foundation actually of attracting more prosperity and more money into your life. And money is just energy. So you've got to be right with the energy and your relationship with money, which actually is, is, is a very sacred act. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what it might cost you in terms of the amount of money that you're leaving on the table, particularly as a business owner. So why don't you take a look and see right now, what is one area of your life that you feel like you're giving your power away to something other than allowing more money into your life? So for instance, you may not be wanting to get that website up or you may be ignoring to pay some kind of bill, or you may have an issue of, of paying some kind of licensing fee or something. I just want you to know that that takes up an enormous amount of real estate in your mind and really prevents you and blocks you from allowing more prosperity to come into your life. So take a look and see what is it that you are having some vagueness or a way that you're giving your power away to something that's keeping you not having the flow of money coming into your life. And what do you think that that, how do you think that's impacting you? Think about that. Probably it impacts you the amount of time that you think about that, that issue. I want to ask you another question now. What might be possible in terms of revenues coming into you? If you were to handle that piece, that issue, how much money do you think you would, you're leaving on the table now that could be yours if you handled that? Great. Just this one tip if practiced, can shift you out of a survival state in your relationship with money to one of abundance and attracting more so that you can give your gift and fulfill your purpose and mission on this planet.